It's Thursday, October 1st. I think today's Thursday. Um, we're running corn again. Uh, beans aren't ready. Got enough combine to finish filling the dryer bin and uh, had to do a little bit of leg work on some terrace stuff this morning. Um, and got a new field opened up and now I need to get this auger ready to roll so that we can use it to fill a uh, bin at a landlord's uh, site uh, about a mile away. Uh, so this is the only auger that I haven't touched yet, so hopefully there's nothing too crazy going on with anything. Uh, I don't think this one has too many grease lurks on the lift mechanism, so I mostly just need to check tires and uh, grease the PTO shaft and check oil in the gearbox, which on this one is in the middle and usually is low, so I, I think the seals inside leak a little bit. Um, remember if we left, the, there's a clean out on the bottom there that probably I'll have to open that up and knock the mouse nests out. And if I'd been smart, I would have probably hooked up the PTO shaft before I put the tractor on the auger because there's probably some bird's nests and mouse nests in there that we need to run out before we put it up to the bin. But, too late now. Um, so, I'm gonna get this ready to go and get set up to the other bin and run some more corn this afternoon. Auger is set up at this bin now and we got probably 1,500 bushels into the bed, I would guess, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I'm not sure if I love the auger positioning. It's going to be windy, so hopefully the audio picks up. Um, we have trees, and there is talk of possibly running the auger out that way, but we really need to be able to get through here with soybeans that are at the other end of this grass strip. Um, and the thought was to set this auger up and just leave it, um, but probably the corn on this side of the field is going to be a little bit later because it's a longer season hybrid. Um, so this is where we ended up, but it's not the easiest spot to get to with the grain cart because you have to basically back in or, you know, I don't know, there might be enough space now that I got the tractor out of here that you could pull around and make a loop. Um, but. It is what it is, I guess. Not lovely, but corn's going into the bin. Um, yield over here seems not as good as at mom and dad's, and I don't know if that's a lot fungicide or other reasons or hybrid. Um, it is what it is. We've also got a spot here that I think is probably coon damage, but there's a whole lot of it. But I don't see. Ooh, there's ears on some of it. The one that I saw here, like that's definitely been chewed on. It's a little odd that it's like a ways in from the edge of the field too. But I think it's critters. I don't know what else it would be. It's about well after 6.30 now. Uh, I just got the last load into the drying bin at mom and dad's and Headed back to the field we opened up here this afternoon. I'm guessing that, that probably has a grain cart full. Um, so we'll get that into the bin and see exactly how far he's got on stuff. Um, we got into a variety of corn, which I only had a couple bags of it planted there. I had a couple bags planted in a different spot, I think also, or maybe four bags in the other spot. Um, but it seems to have really spongy cobs and we could not get the combine set where it would get the kernels all off the cobs without breaking them in half and throwing a bunch of chunks out the back with kernels on them, um, which is pretty annoying really. Um, it's a Syngenta variety and we had some Syngenta corn I think in 2016. Um, we have a dealer that we like to work with that sells Syngenta so we try to give them some business but have not really found much that works for us. Um, but uh, I kind of wonder if maybe there's a shared parent there or something. Um, it is, well, I mean, it's 20%, so it's not dry, um, and it might shell differently when it's you know, dried down to 16, 17, um, but definitely not confidence inspiring because I bet we ran at least 10 bushels an acre out the back on the couple passes that we did. I think we stopped. It's about about a quarter mile pass, so you know, half a mile round. I know we stopped 10 times and adjusted stuff and could not find settings that were better than bad. Um, I mean, some were better than others, but nothing good. So um, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to end up. It looks like that's got most of it whipped, and the cart is pretty full.
rifle. Um, maybe I can get enough of it off before he gets back to this end, but it won't slow him down too much. Um, but uh, depending on exactly where that comes out, if there's Depending on how much of that other variety is left, we may leave a little strip and let it dry down and see if it combines better later. Um, if it ends up that where the variety changes is pretty close to where we stopped when we were working from that other side, then we might uh, just combine it, I guess, or do the best we can. Um, it's really cloudy. Uh, looks kind of rainy almost. There's no chance of rain in the forecast until, I think, like tomorrow night. Um, but definitely has clouded over and gotten chilly. There's a pretty good chance that we see a frost tonight, as I understood it. Uh, I haven't really looked at a forecast close lately, but we'll get some corn into the bin and see what tomorrow brings. So this is what we want to see. Um, a lot of fairly whole cobs. Uh, that one, I guess, does have a kernel on it, but we can probably live with that. Um, but if we kind of rake back stuff, you get a kernel on the ground here and there, but you're never going to get all the kernels. And sometimes when you get round ones like that, might be off the butt of the ear and be shelling when the butt of the ear hits the deck plates on the corn head. Um, but basically all the crop is going into the combine. We might have, eh, I would say less than a bushel of loss per acre. Um, now we'll walk over to the other side of this little strip that's left. So this is the other side, which at first glance doesn't seem too bad, but then you find stuff like this, where you have a cob that's split and a few kernels on it, and the cob that's whole and quite a few kernels on it. And if you kind of scrape back the residue, there's a few on the ground, more than we would like to see. Um, and this is the stuff that I don't know, yeah, it's pretty spongy. Um, we tried fast, slow, both driving and cylinder speed. Uh, we tried opening, closing the cylinder uh, clearance, concave clearance. Could not get the uh, kernels off all the uh, cobs and um, could not really tell much difference. I mean, that anything was making it much better. I mean, some things made it worse for sure and some things were marginally better but we could not find settings that would get all of that off um, there's only maybe 24 rows left here and i don't know exactly where the hybrid changes um, i it's partly my fault because i didn't warn dad that there was a change in hybrid out here and he didn't get out and look uh, for a while and combined a chunk of it with less than optimal settings i think but it is what it is. Yeah, so there's 18 rows left and probably not very much of that rubbery cob stuff. Um, I do have another five acres on the other side of this farm, I think, five or 10. Um, so I hope it's not that bad. Again, it might be different at 17% than it is at 20. Uh, I don't know, but no bueno. It's Friday, October 2nd, and I've been doing a poor job of taking video today because I've been kind of scrambling. Uh, we got another field opened up, and this one is all going to either the ethanol plant or the elevator. Um, so I'm trying to stay ahead of Dad with the combine, um, with the truck. And since I had to sort of run the grain cart for the first load to get all the indros off, um, I've been playing catch up a little bit. Plus the ethanol plant only had one pit open, so that kind of slowed me down on my throughput there. Um, but this corn seems to be doing really well and is actually drier than we thought it was. Um, and the moisture on the monitor and the combine seems like it might be a little higher than what the ethanol plant said at least. Um, so this load is going to the elevator. Um, so we'll see if they say similar moisture or higher or lower or whatever. Um, but getting some things done. Uh, I think there continues to be a pretty good chance of rain overnight. Um, so we'll have to see what materializes with that, uh, what the game plan is for tomorrow. 
another load going into the truck. Start out in first gear since we're pulling out onto this narrow dirt road and it's kind of soft because they took a bunch of dirt out of the ditch on field. Hopefully be back soon. It's a little after 6.30 so the elevator and the ethanol plant are both closed. Um, we could take potentially to another elevator I guess but I'm uh, gonna wait and see what happens with the weather overnight. Um, got a wagon behind me here that we're gonna get the last of what we're gonna combine today home and under a roof and then see if and how much it rains and what tomorrow brings um, we have most of the short season corn on this farm combined there's a little bit more um, but probably not more than 12 or maybe 15 acres um, when we finish up for the evening so I don't think the beans necessarily will go yet or they might but I think they would fight you especially if it's damp from raining or whatever uh, I might have another field of corn that would go depending on exactly how dry we want it to be before we start but um, the field that we're on now, I expect it to be more like 18% moisture, and uh, we've been in the 16s, and one load that tested 15.3, but I sort of suspect that they may have run the moisture tester on soybean mode, because um, I don't really think it was that dry. Um, but anyway, that's definitely a good spot to be combining, because you're not paying too much moisture dock, um, but if it dries down below, you know, 15, 15 and a half, um, you're losing yield uh, and especially as you get drier also you can have a lot more uh, head shelling basically loss in the field where the kernels fall on the ground um, instead of going into the combine so we'll see what tomorrow brings or what overnight brings and what things look like in the morning I guess maybe um, and go from there but we're gonna get 
a moderately nice sunset. It might turn a little redder here after a while. If it does, I'll try to turn the camera back on, but not bad. Good morning. It's Saturday, October 3rd, and it rained last night. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much because Dad apparently dumped the rain gauge and then went to the feed store to drink coffee. Um, but it doesn't seem super wet. I would guess a quarter or less. Um, I'm going to walk out to the field here and see what the uh, ground in the corn stalks is like exactly. Um, I've still got corn to put in the bin um, that I harvested yesterday. And I don't know if we'll harvest anything more today or not. Um, the elevator that we normally would need to haul to is not open today, I don't think. Um, and taking it anywhere else, we're going to have to go farther. And the other options are only open until noon. And at this point, I think everything is pretty wet. So uh, if we go combine early this morning, we're going to pick up moisture off of the leaves. And that's not necessarily desirable. Um, probably not enough to amount to a lot, but things work better if they're not damp for sure because the leaves will stick to stuff and whatever besides potentially picking up a little moisture on the curls. Um, as you can tell, very cloudy, so unlikely to dry off very quickly or dry off very well. I think it's supposed to be, uh, I think it's supposed to be cloudy all day today and uh, it's maybe 55 degrees now I would say. Um, so we're plenty wet, not terrible, but definitely not dry. Um, probably running beans today would be a long, long shot. Um, could run a little bit more corn maybe, um, but if conditions are kind of marginal, I've got to take off early today anyway. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, there's probably a fair chance that we'll kind of do some things that need doing and not do too much actual harvesting today and take tomorrow off and hit things hard on Monday. Uh, although it's supposed to be halfway nice tomorrow and probably would be good to run. Um, I've got some stuff that I need to take care of and it looks like the weather next week is going to be really nice. Um, so the thought at this point is to maybe uh, take a day off and then hit it hard um, during the normal work week, uh, Monday through Friday next week. Um, although we haven't been lighting the world on fire, it's October 3rd and we've got a pretty decent chunk of corn out and a decent start on soybeans. Uh, and a dry, warm, uh, medium-term forecast from everything that I've seen. Um, so I don't think there's any reason to push the envelope too hard. Famous last words, but that's kind of where we're at right now, I think.